good morning student and welcome back to all of you today i am going to discuss about the microsoft access in the last class we already discussed about how to create the table and uh, how to make a relationship between the one or more table and before that we already discussed to create the queries create the reports in all and uh, today we are going to discuss about the how to use the fill properties in all so first see this is the Microsoft access window first you click to file there is a new once you create the new file but you first if you want to create the new file then you click to create click to table okay see the table is here see the file and design view here the name is the employee name the name of the file is the employee emp i am written then click to ok see the name of the file is the employee so which programs we are going to solve see i am showing you see the question is see this is the question the fourth number question we are going to solve Okay, see here is the employee is here, name is here. First the employee number, employee name, okay, destination and pay scale. So the if you want to delete, now select, right click and delete. Okay, if you want to delete that, then click to yes. See the first again I am showing you employee number and employee name. Employee number employee number and EMP name and uh, after this see the this destination okay destination is there and after this is the pay scale is here so you those are the computer you must be practice because microsoft access to the practical based subjects in my every classes i repeat myself you all of your practice because without the practice is not be required okay to you learn the more things without practice is not be possible okay so this is the destination destination is there text and after this is the page okay basically and uh, see this is a number and I add the one more things here is the phone number okay phone number so see the uh, we discuss side by side you also discuss the field properties you see all of you when you enter the phone number so you use the number right it is the number and you see the here the input marks input marks please see they are the total you all of you know 10 numbers is there so use like this suppose the first packet is there suppose like this first three then after this suppose like this this is the pattern suppose that this is a field name and here the employee number is there so if you want to add the some employee number like this I am showing you okay see the employee number is there see employee number is the support is the number and you see all of you here the uh, format is here if the format suppose only two your format these are the formats means which format the data or numbers is visible visible first is the general number you select always okay and here is the input marks okay if the input marks are two or three whatever if you want to require and see here is the employee name is the text destination is the text pay skill is the text and suppose I am writing here employee ID okay employee ID employee ID is the text and see here the fill size suppose here the only two so you when you use the fill size so maximum size is the two if you want to add the more data on the more number 
then it is never accessed because you given the file size is the two. Okay, and uh, after this you click to save control S, otherwise click to save button. Okay, and you see the phone number. Phone number. This is the patterns are there. Okay, then you save it. Then click to view and click to data set view. Click data set view. Here the employee number is there. Suppose I am writing employee number. <coughs> Okay, and the employee name. Suppose the employee name is Ram, and destination suppose manager. Okay, it is the manager, and pay scale is here. Suppose sixty-five. Okay, sixty-five thousand. Right, and here the phone number. You see the patterns is visible. Suppose I am writing here the phone number. Like this, okay. Only the ten number is accessed, and more than ten is never accessed. Like, see, I am pressing the button, but it is not accessing. Right. So this is the function, and the after this, here you see, here is the enter the value. Like this, if you want to add the more numbers, then it is never accessed. So this is the functions. This is the function of uh, Microsoft Access. Okay. If it is not access, then you click to view and design view. Okay. So you rough one. If you not accessing, then you see just you click to employee and design view. You see here is the how many is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten numbers is here. Okay. Like this. Again, I am repeating. Suppose one, two, three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then Control S button press. It is saved. Then click to design view. This is the design view. You save it and data set view. Okay. Next, you see the one two zero. See here is the Sam. Here is the suppose junior manager. Okay, the salary is suppose. Okay, like this, and here is the numbers is there. Okay. Okay. Here is a ten numbers there. Okay. See the ten numbers is there. And after this one zero three, suppose here the student is the joy, and here is the suppose computer operator. Computer assistant, like this. See the salary is the suppose four five. Okay, and the here is the phone number. Suppose four one. Okay, like this. So next is the one zero four. Suppose the student is Rajesh, and here he is also suppose. uh senior manager suppose okay and here suppose the salary is suppose 69 okay like this and is the phone number suppose this is the like the, this is the phone numbers okay and uh, one more if you read okay so if you need like this you enter so you first after complete this you click to save it is saved and uh, suppose i am entering here now one more things suppose insert the columns 
see it now it is rename if we require then rename suppose here the city okay city suppose the city is the suppose here the Kolkata and this is the Durgapur okay is also Kolkata and Durgapur okay so you see all of you in the data set view I am written the one more column but when you see the design view see here the city is automatically given so this is called the relational database means when you change in the one portion the other portion is automatically changed in the other sections it is automatically changed okay so this is called the relational database and see it is a low primary key is here if you want to add the some primary key so see you use the primary key so suppose like the employee id you set the primary key so this is the primary key right and what is the use of the primary key in the previous classes i already explained what is the use of the primary key with the help of the primary key you create the relationship between the one table to any other tables right so you just you click to view then click to data set view then you save it okay the primary key contain the none value okay okay otherwise suppose you want if you want to if you think you will change then you click here then you will click the suppose the employer employee number if you not require the employer id then you de delete the employee id then after this click to save right then okay see the design view this is the, your design view and now see this is the table is completed data is completed now after this you click to create okay then click to query wizard query visit is options simple query okay right and from there you select your main table whatever your main table see here the EMP table is here then I select my EMP table then click the next okay the next and uh, suppose what you want to uh, display here suppose I want to display the city so see I the city I showing city then the modify then click to finish okay and here you all of you see here the uh, many options are there like the field this is the field is here means the employee number or employee names whatever the data field is there it is there and uh, after you see the table emp table emp table it is emp table okay means the table name is same means all the data is come from the table okay this here is a sort if you want to sort the number in the ascending or descending order whatever you apply okay next is the criteria option is here so you see the in the criteria suppose you want to display which peoples are coming from the Kolkata so I am writing here Kolkata then the stick bracket close okay then you press run click to run option see the those peoples are coming from the Kolkata their data is only visible and this dollar hide right so this is the functions and you see it is coming if you want to show the code then right click and the design view. See, this is the code, right? Then again, I am showing you. Suppose this is the salaries are there. Suppose I I show you I I I have one query which which imply the salary is more than fifty thousand. Okay. So just you click to query then query wizard and okay, right? Then click next next modify here is the salary right salary then click to finish see the salary you all of you see the criteria what is the criteria of salary case pay scale the criteria option is here then the greater than equal to okay suppose okay 50,000 then click to run see the more than 50,000 greater than equal to means the equal to I am given the greater than equal to so it is success from the uh, 50,000 okay means in this way you apply the any criteria with the help of the query so, so I am showing you one more things suppose the suppose you want to display the only the employee name employee city and the destinies okay so click to ok like this click to next click to next click to next 
and uh, if you want to change and rename it is rename so suppose here the EMP EMP name and uh, city suppose and the destination right suppose destination yeah, you want to display so click to finish option it is you click to finish right so you see here the right box is there so my question is here is the employee name city and destination then rest all are you just deactivate right phone number in all you deactivate and click to run option you see here the employee number sorry employee name city and destination only visible and rest all are hide right so suppose here the particular uh, employees you want to see the details right suppose the character of r r name of the r how many employees are there okay so see the two students uh, two employees are there ram and rajesh so let's see click to create click to query simple query means the query is help the query means what query means questions okay here is the query is the R words or all alphabets. Okay. Alphabets. Okay. Then click to finish and see the criteria. See the criteria is R, then asterisk, then run option. See only the R names is visible. Okay. So these are the these are all are the forms. And if you want to see the see the forms, then you click click from there. Right means the right click and the design view like this. This is the formulas are there. Okay, and uh, see here is the or option is here. Suppose city the greater than equal to fifty thousand or the city city suppose city suppose Durgapur. Okay, Durga Pursuit. Then click to run option. Here the run option is here. See, their salary more than 50,000 and the city is the Durga Pursuit. Okay, there are two conditions is the checking. See, I am again I'm showing you. Hmm. Salary is here. See, there are the two options are there. Criteria is a greater than 50,000. Okay, and here is the or Durgapur. Those those people are coming from the Durgapur, and those employees salary are more than fifty thousands. So here is the two conditions checking in the same time. Okay, see here is the or means this check anyone this one means this criteria or the uh, city. So here is the or option is here. Okay, so this is the use of queries actually the queries help to solve the uh, mathematical problems or any any other problems is there any questions are arise so with the help of the uh, this query you easily solve and see here is an employee number suppose you want to show the only the employee number 103 who is the 103 employee number so let's see just click to create query wizard see the simple query okay Okay, after this click to greater than next, next and the modifier. Suppose the employee is the employee 103. The employee is 103 employee. Then click to finish. Okay, then see the update query is there. Update query you use when you solve the mathematical calculation. Right. And here is the criteria employee number 103. This is the question. So whose employer ID is a 103? Just check. Joy. Okay, he is coming from the Kolkata. He is computer assistant. Salary this one. The phone number like this. Okay. So very simple it is. You all of you practice. Okay. So practice is too much is required. Without practice, you people are not understand. And if you want to create the form, then you click to create option. Then uh, click to click to uh, more forms and from more forms click to form wizard option 
form widget is click and the form widget window visible on the computer screen and from there you select your appropriate table name this is your table name emp table and uh, see here the double greater than sign is here if you want to display the one by one you select any one otherwise just you click to double greater than sign then click to next then you from there you select any form widget see there are the different categories of the form widget here is the tabular form here the data sheets is there or justified you select as per the user choice it will depend on the user choice okay suppose i am selecting the tabular form then you select the tabular form or the column column anyone okay so the tabular forms is okay then after this click to next option and these are the form widget if this is the background options are there you choose the any background as you like see there are different colors is available so different backgrounds is option is available you select as for your requirement whatever it is actually depend the user suppose i am selecting this one then click to next option okay and here is the this is the report forms so emp form emp form okay so this is the title of the forms then click to after written the title click to modify option then click to finish okay see after click to finish the form window is visible on the computer screen and whatever your field is there it is visible see and if you want to change the form means the titles then you click click here then you remove it suppose here is the abc company suppose abc pvt dot ltd okay okay it's pvt comp comp okay if you want to increase or decrease the size like this and the decrease the size like this and if you change the location then you will move and if you want to change the color select it and change the color this is the color is there okay so it is a background color is also change it like this see it is a changing bold italic or underline whatever and uh, after finish just you click to view option here the view option is here click to view and click to form form view okay click to form view and see the all the data is available okay how many students are there there are four students are there one two three four okay so so this is the use of the form so all of you practice and go through it okay 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 student take care thank you and bye bye